at this time I'd like to call this meeting to order and since this is Mr. Randolph's 20th year on the court and his last one we'll let him say the blessing hey gentlemen Devin is out of we thank you for all the blessings you've given us. We thank you for this community, for the people that live in it, for how thankful we should be f to be in this area. Father, forgive us of our sins. Be with us as we go through this meeting today. Lead, guide, and direct each of our people that protect us, the sheriff, the police, our fire department. Father, thank you for giving us such good people to work and to be around. Watch over us and lead us and guide us and be with us as we go through. We ask in your name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. First, we've got uh, the county clerk's 2018 budget amendment presentation. Jolene and Kimberly. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, let's see. I am just amending a couple of line items on the 2018 budget. You guys have it uploaded. Um, it was basically, I believe, a $43,850 uh, transfer that all came out of delinquent taxes on both receipts and disbursements. Um, do you guys have any questions? Or? You amended $43,000? Mm-hmm, $850. Where did you amend it into? Well, if you'll look on the, um, the receipt side, I guess we can start there. Um, the line items that I amended, I actually put the dollar amount that was increased to the side of it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And then if you'll go down to um, the, on the receipt side, line 21, the delinquent taxes is where the 43850 came out on the receipt side. And then on disbursements, it's on line 10 and delinquent taxes, the same amount. So your numbers were just running off that much on the expense side? This is, that's just the comfort that I needed okay. to finish out the quarter and the year. We um, exceeded in some, and as you can see, we didn't um, use near as much in delinquent taxes this year, so I was able to amend it all out of that line item. <clears throat> Chandler and Mr. Tarpley. Morning, Chandler. Yes. Blake Tarpley. Yes. Bobby Bush. Yes. Larry Randolph. Yes. Jim Spears. Yes. Now, when I asked that a, a couple of meetings ago about next year's budget, when will you have that at the next meeting? Or? Um, most likely, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi. At, at the next one in January meeting, we'll That'll be the seventh, is that? Yeah, when is it? When is the deadline on that, Jamie? 15th deadline. Okay. I don't know if we'll have time to do it one minute. That's right. I'd like to have it a little earlier if I could get it, just so I could be yeah. looking over. We'll do our best. We've been okay. wrapping up the election, and then I've got holidays, girls out, and so we're running some if, if you were to get it done before then, if you could get it to the office up here and, and they can let well, we've us. We've spoken to Nicole and Nicole some of the numbers can we have, so. Okay. We just got to go through and talk about that. Okay. <coughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Do what? Do what? 
Yeah, we need to take a vote on that. We did. Did we? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about something else. <laughs> All right. Um, do we have any public comments? If not, uh, we'll move on to the regular business. Need to review and approve the minutes from the December 4th regular fiscal court meeting. Move we approve it. Second. <clears throat> A motion by Mr. Tarpley, a second by Mr. Bush. Clay Tarpley? Yes. Bobby Bush? Yes. Marty Chandler? Yes. Larry Randolph? Yes. Jamie Spears? Yes. <clears throat> Next, we need to review and approve uh, the Barn School Road bridge bid. Um, we've discussed this before. Some, it was. Uh, it, it, it was part, this bridge project was part of the 80-20 um, program with the, with the state rural roads program. And they, they used to let you, allow you to build up year after year to, to do a larger project like this. This year that has ended as of July 1. So, this project was already submitted before that and approved, and the only problem was the bid came in higher than we expected. So in order to not lose the $240,000 from the state that, that is already committed to this project, uh, I think the court needs to go, in ahead, go ahead and approve some other funding out of the road department to help finish this project. Bobby, you, we've talked about it and we've kind of, there, there's enough money in surplus and in LGA asphalt money and uh, that, that we could, we could, and then part of this project was $100,000 to move the road and do some extra approach work that, that we don't necessarily have to do right now uh, to make this project work, but if we don't move forward on it, we're going to lose two hundred forty thousand dollars of state funding. And we've been working on this for going on two years. Yeah. So. And we only have one bid on it. We only had one bid. Uh, um, Scott Murphy was the only bid, and the the bid was four hundred forty one thousand two hundred sixty five dollars and sixteen cents. If uh, we've already discussed it with them and and there was an allowance in there for twenty thousand dollars if we would wait until spring for them to do the work and we've discussed that with them and and they're going to go ahead and honor that twenty thousand dollars and start on it so so the actual bid will be four hundred and twenty one thousand two sixty five sixteen um the the original estimate on the bid from arnold engineering was about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so this is going to be about $170,000 higher than the estimate. Oh, that was two years ago. Yeah, that was two years ago. But <coughs> Sam, how are we on the acquisition of the land? Sean McPherson is writing up the appraiser appraisal, and the plan is we will, they have met with the two of the three owners that are up here, and they are on board once we get an appraisal because we cannot pay more than what the appraisal is by law. Then we get one of them to sign. We settle with them. They give us right of entry. It doesn't matter. We can go on and start work. Okay. And we can hash out the other. As long as one of the owners gives right of entry, we have right of entry to go do work. And so once I get that, we get the appraisal. I'm hoping to have it. He says he's got everything he needs, he's writing it up. And then we can get something from them and then that should give us a go ahead to start work and then we'll start. I think we can probably settle with two of the three and then all those fails will fall a condemnation against the out of state owner who is not agreeable. 
but I mean, he, he's going to have a tough time of it because he's holding on to one third of an interest. It's like that the other two thirds are ready to move. Right, that yeah. are already sold. And yeah, so, so. He, he's going to have a problem. <clears throat> Just sometimes folks are easier to get along with than others. He's, he's okay. proved. What was, when was the anticipated start date on that? You said they get away to start. Mm -hmm. Whenever they get that right entry, I guess, it'll be their anticipated start date. March 2019 is, okay. uh, is when the $20,000 uh, deduction kicks in. So, I mean, I, I don't know why we couldn't have their appraisal in and hopefully got, God will and have at least one of them sign off on it by the end, the right of entry, and then away we, I mean, you can start work. That's the plan. <coughs> okay. Well, I move to approve the bid. For second. The school of breach. Second. Mr. Chandler and Mr. Bush. Marty Chandler? Yes. Bobby Bush? Yes. Larry Bacon? Yes. Larry Parker? Yes. James Peters? Yes. James Peters? Yes. Next, we have a financial business to uh, review and approve budget transfers. I believe the um, I think the only one kind of, is the maintenance the, the maintenance and repairs is that for the wreck vehicle in the sheriff's I think there's seven thousand ninety eight dollars yes, yeah right for Eddie's gun yes yeah. at some point we'll be looking at doing something with that right now it's not the time that they get the funding. right I'm about the motion we approve. A motion by Mr. Randolph and a second by Mr. Tarpley. Mr. Larry Randolph? Yes. Blake Tarpley? Yes. Martin Chandler? Yes. Bobby Blue? Yes. Joe Spears? Yes. Next, we need to review and approve the bills and claims. Yes, sir. Chad, there's, uh, I know there's a claim in here for, uh, winter jackets or heavy jackets for the jail. I'm just trying to figure out why the taxpayers are paying for heavy jackets for for jail employees that work inside. Um, Did they work outside in one the school? Um, yeah. I guess that's coming out of the regular. Uh, Uniform budget. Need a motion and a second. <laughs> I move to approve. Mr. Bush. Second. Mr. Tarpley. Bush. Yes. Move on to the reports. Um, the only report I have, I'd like to uh, just take a second to thank all the magistrates and elected <coughs> officials for everything they do. Um, especially Mr. Randolph, he's retiring at the end of this. 
uh, after today, or I guess you officially you're here till the first week of January, but this is your last fiscal court meeting, and <coughs> thank you for your service. You know, it's it's been a pleasure. I think back 15, 16 years ago when we hired that little girl sitting over there, the judge and I normally didn't disagree on much. And I said, well, judge, she ain't even out of school yet. You sure you want to hire somebody like that? And if anybody knows Nicole and the job that she does, it was one of our better hires. And then right after that, we hired my old sweetheart from church. I won't say how old I am, but I did teach her in Sunday school class. But the judges, the, our previous judge was pretty smart in hiring people to support support the court. When you look around the room at all the department heads and the leaders that we've got, it's been a pleasure to work with you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. The county's in good stead, so. I'm proud of proud of all of you, proud of the job that's been done. Most of the time I had a good time. <laughs> there were a few bad times, but most of the time it was a good time. So thank all y'all. Also, I'd like to thank Mr. Tarpley and Mr. Bush for their service on the, on the court. So it's been a pleasure to work with y'all. I just say there's <clears throat> not much I can add that Larry hadn't already said. He's he's the uh, senior member of the court, and. Uh, He's been real helpful to me, and I know all the others too, and I've enjoyed working with the whole court. I've enjoyed working with every elected official. I've enjoyed working with these ladies. I'm sorry Megan's not here. Uh, she's taking an early Christmas break, and enjoyed working with her, and Bobby, and Leslie, and Chad, and Sheriff, and Jailer, and everybody in here has been good to work with, and I wish you only the best for the future. And I want to thank everybody and the people of the North District for giving me this opportunity. I really appreciate it. And I can't say any more because they've done said it all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sam? First, I'm going to say pay your taxes by the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it would be folks disappointed if I didn't say that. Uh, it pay, it face value and uh, that way it saves you money and if you can't if you can't I get it but if you can at all I know it's me being grinchy and scroogey to pay your taxes but I'm trying to save you some money uh, uh, sheriff are you gonna be open the 31st or you gonna be closed the 31st it's a Monday. What's the holidays? Yeah, we'll be talking. Okay. Well, you'll need to be talking to the sheriff's office about their hours, but that's just get paid by the end of the year to get your face value without getting late penalties. Be Friday the twenty eighth. Be the last day. Uh, I want to say that what an honor and pleasure it has been to work with all the members of the court. Marty, I'll still be around with you come January. But I, I Judge, it's been wonderful working with you. Appreciate all you've done and stepping up community service. Uh, not everybody is willing to do that. Appreciate you doing that. Uh, Larry, I, I, you, you have been wonderful. You've been here the whole time I've been here. There's a lot of stuff I've learned. Just you know, you know where all the bodies are buried, and I, that that's good to know. <laughs> and Blake, you, it's been wonderful working with you these last couple of terms. You, the wet people of the West have done very well. We 
with you under your stewardship. Bobby, it's been wonderful working with you. Audrey can't say enough nice things about you as you stand on the library board. Mm -hmm. And she shilling one last time for a special request she made. You need to call her back, okay? I'm already talking. All right. <laughs> uh, and one other last thing, I'm looking forward to working uh, with the new folks coming in. Um, I think the county will do just fine. And I wish to everybody the merriest of Christmases and a happy, safe, and prosperous New Year. I got to. I got to say this. I worked for several years with Sid Broderson as our county attorney, and those of you that know Sid, he's all business, kind of laid back, and you didn't have to wonder what he was going to say because most time was business. When Sam came on the court. Now, we can't say it in open session. We just now. completely flipped that around. <laughs> you never know what Sam's going to say, and sometimes you can't put it on camera. I will say, <laughs> a lot of that stuff's not really proper for open me. <laughs> so you new guys, y'all are in for our shocks occasionally. <laughs> for a Sorry, Sam, I couldn't pass that up. No, I, <laughs> I, I think you're surprised one time when I did say something, and you said, well, that's not the Phelps way, is it? I said, well, it is this time. But yes, it's it, that's true. I, Judge Henderson commented our first executive session when I made a rather off-color comment, and he looked up to the others. It was dead size. Well, he sure ain't like Sid, is he? So, <laughs> uh, but no, I, it's it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Any of the other constitutional officers have anything? No. Bobby, Les. I just want to say uh, thank you, gentlemen, for your support for the fire department. Uh, it looks very different than it did. I can I guess the Larry started and we've come a long way. And, uh, yeah, they've always provided us with some nice equipment and we appreciate that. Thank you. I want to say one more thing. You guys coming on, just remember the mics are hot. Larry, <laughs> Larry has gotten caught. <clears throat> that situation sometimes in the past so <laughs> <laughs> that that that, that and his phone not the entire yeah time. make sure you turn your phone off <laughs> leslie i think back you were on the fire department i think when we you've been on it 20 years haven't you uh pretty close yeah when when we first when judge henderson and i first came in office i think we had one county on fire truck and it was on its last legs yeah. and when you go out there now and look at the fire department that's one of the better accomplishments that we've that we've made so you guys are to be con congratulated and the road department and the road department i mean bobby has upgraded it and the road lot department's of, down here fire man goes down. yeah <laughs> wasn't much of service to that <laughs> All right, well, with no further ado, uh, move we adjourn this. I need a motion and a second to adjourn. Do I get to make the motion? Yes, sir. Adjourn? By all you means. can make it a second or two if you want to. I guess. <laughs> and we'll vote on it twice, so Sam gets it. <laughs> motion by Mr. Randolph. Second. Second by Mr. Tarpley. All in favor, get up and leave. <laughs> <laughs>